na hizi zambi uweekend karibu jina langu ni Suleiman Yeri na tukianza taarifa hizi ni kwamba wizara ya elimu imesema kwamba maandalizi ya mitihani ya kitaifa ya mwaka huu yamekamilika huku serikali ikieleza nia ya kufanikisha mchakato huo akizungumza katika eneo bunge la Keses County ya Uasingishu katibu katika wizara ya elimu Belio Kipsanga alisema licha ya mvua kubwa inaonyesha katika maeneo tofauti ya nchi karatasi za mitihani zitawasilishwa kwa wakati katika janibu mbalimbali mbali za nchi kupitia vyombo maalum vya usalama We worked with all arms of government. There are quite a number of uh, helicopters on our disposal that in case there will be challenges and there will be need for air lifting of some of our examination materials that that has already been uh, aligned. We've had quite a lot of consultation with my colleague uh, Raymond in charge of uh, internal interior and national administration and I can assure you that as government we are properly aligned and that all this will be dealt with in a way that it will not interfere with the examination i'm happy that uh, from the report that i've just seen the president has communicated to the country that the expected el nino uh, that was said by the weather men has been reduced down to be just a short term rain short for rain that we are looking at now and i'm aware and i'm happy that this one may not interfere as much on the examination period Naibu wa Rais Rigathi Gashagwa amefanya kikao na wafanyabiashara wa eneo la Mlima Kenya katika kaunti ya Nyeri. Gashagwa aliwasihi wakazi na viongozi wa eneo hilo kuungana na kufanya kazi pamoja kwa manufaa ya wakazi wa eneo hilo na Kenya kwa jumla. Aliongeza kusema kuwa uchaguzi ulikamilika na kwamba kinachosalia sasa ni kushirikiana kujenga taifa la Kenya kwa pamoja. Mkutano huo pia ulihudhuria na wanasiasa wakiwemo magavana, maseneta pamoja na wabunge. The brokers and middlemen who have been buying coffee and tea, we have nothing against them. All we are asking, can we share the profit with you? Don't take everything. And that is the battle we have had with them in coffee because they want to take everything. And we know how much they sell and how much they pay us. Our fight with them is can we share 50-50 on the profit? From where I sit, my boss, President William Ruto, and I, the elections are over. And we want all Kenyans to be one team, to be one people for the development of this country. This region, during the last election, we were divided to a certain extent. 87% voted for President William Ruto and I. 13% exercised their democratic right as it should be and voted the other way. But now elections are over. I have on record inviting the 13% to come we work together for our region, for our country. Because there is no enmity, there is no quarrel, there is nothing. The election is just like a sport. And you shouldn't take it beyond there. Na baadhi ya viongozi wanaoiunga mkono serikali ya Kenya kwanza kutoka ukanda wa Nyanza wamekisuta chama cha ODM kwa kile walichodaini uchochezi kwa vijana kuzua vurugu kwenye hafla za serikali wakiongozwa na waziri Elud Owalo walitumia fursa ya ibada katika kanisa la Nomio mjini Kisumu kusuta uongozi wa chama cha ODM kwa kusema ODM inapigania kuwepo kwa vyama vingi humo nchini ila kwa upande mwingine chama hicho kinawaadhibu wafuasi wao wanaojihusisha na vyama vingine kwa sineta mteule jijini Nairobi Elizabeth Ongoro amesema watazidi kushirikiana na serikali that is called the Luo nation so that this place can be enjoyed by my children your children and our grandchildren we are in UDA by choice without apology we are a community that is very good in creating things but very poor in implementation and that came about with multi party democracy that our people fought for and devolution. Now we have devolution which our people have fought for, but it is performing very poorly in Nyanza because of the mode of selection, not election of leaders. Let us work with this government. There is going to be no other government here in between as we wait for the next elections. We have to work with the government under the leadership of President Ruto because he's a father figure to the nation. 
He's a father figure to the nation. He's a symbol of unity. He's a father figure to the nation. You saw the number of development projects he commissioned when he was here, and he's going to come back again and again and again. Na wito umetolewa kwa serikali kuwahusisha kina mama kwenye maswali ya kutafuta amani na kutatua mizozo. Viongozi hao wamesema kuwa wakati wa machafuko ya amani ya kina mama ndio hubeba mzigo mkubwa katika jamii. Wakizungumza wakati wa kizundua kitabu kuhusu nafasi ya wanawake katika utatuzo wa mizozo na kuleta amani nchini Sudan Kusini, naibu gavana wa Vihiga Wycliffe Kitiezo amehimiza kuhusishwa akina mama kwenye mazungumzo kwa mishna katika shirika la NCIC Dokas Kedogo amewarai wanawake kuwa mstari wa mbele kuleta amani. 2005 CPA that's the comprehensive peace accord uh, agreement is a site for Africa and the world to discover that women are a resourceful in conflict resolution and that the time has come to drop the sympathetic codes that denied them a chance to play in conflict resolution Dr Ruth we applaud your efforts to bring into perspective the valuable input of women in conflict negotiations and resolution. The unique nature of women has to be recognized and celebrated. It's very unfortunate that this book is coming out at this time when the two countries are both in war with themselves. After splitting from the, the Sudan, the South Sudan has never seen peace. It is us to tell them, uh, our, our spouses or that team, that it is not good for you to go and fight. Kindly don't go. Don't go there maybe stealing animals because the moment you go there, you will either remain there or you come back. We want a peaceful world. The world is one globe, it's one global village. And for us to survive in this one global village, we need peace. Peace should prevail everywhere. Serikali ya kaunti ya Busia imewataka wahudumu wa afya ambao wamekuwa kwenye mgomo kwa siku tano zilizopita kurejea kazini kufikia kesho Jumatatu. Naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Busia Arthur Odera ambaye pia ni waziri wa afya katika kaunti hiyo amesema malalamishi ya wahudumu hao tayari yanashughulikiwa na hakuna haja kwa wahudumu hao kuendelea kugoma. Odera amesema baadhi ya malimbikizi ya mishahara wanaodai wa hudumu hao italipwa kufikia mwishoni mwa mwezi ujao na kwa serikali ya kaunti itahakikisha mazingira yao ya kufanya kazi yameimarishwa wa hudumu wa afya katika kaunti ya Busia wamekuwa kigoma kuanzia Jumanne iliyopita wakilalamikia malimbikizi ya mishahara kutoka mwaka 2020 kupandishwa vyeo na mazingira doni ya utendakazi na giza ya kwamba wote ambao wameenda study leave bila idhini warudi kazini mara moja kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi huu ama walete maombi yao wapewe idhini kikamilifu bila hayo tutachukua hatua ya kinidhamu kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba kaunti hii sekta ya afya inaendeshwa kulingana na sheria kulingana na procedures na kulingana na itikadi ambayo iko katika sekta hii ili kuhakikisha kwamba hatua umizi wale ambao wanahitaji huduma za afya kwa sababu za kibinafsi na wale wote ambao wamechukua study bila idhini kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi huu murudi kazini ama mje muombe idhini ili muweze kwenda kusoma jinsi ambavyo mnaistahili Viongozi wa kisiasa kutoka kaunti ya Samburu wanaitaka serikali kuwaondoa maafisa wa kijeshi wa KDF waliotumwa kushika doria katika maeneo ya naukumbwa na utata sehemu ya Pura katika kaunti ya Samburu kutokana na kile wanachotanya kama maafisa hao wamezembea kazini pamoja na kufanya kazi kwa ubaguzi huku mashambulizi yakiendelea kushuhudiwa Seneta wa kaunti ya Samburu Steve Lelengwe ametoa wito kwa waziri wa ulinzi Adan Duale kuwapeleka maafisa hao katika mipaka ya Kenya na Somalia iwapo kuna uhitaji wakati huo huo mwakilishi wa kike kaunti ya Pauline Lengurisa amesema amani inaweza kupatikana tu pindi watu waliojihami na wanaohangaisha jamii ya Samburu watapelekwa makwao viongozi hao wamekashifu ulegevu huo katika utenda kanzi wa maafisa hao wa ulinzi kwani hawatekelezi majukumu yao walivyokabidhiwa 
Si hata mimi nilimuuliza waziri ambao anahusika na maneno ya defense Mheshimiwa Duane nimemwambia kama kuna shida kubwa sana northern Kenya ama boundary ya Kenya na Somalia wapeleke wale ambao wako hapa wapeleke huko wasaidiane inasema hivyo kwa sababu wanajeshi ambao walibetwa kufanya kazi pamoja na wale wengine kusaidiana ni hawatusaidii sisi watu wakaaji wa sabuni ni wapenda amani lakini challenges ambayo yule MCA wa Sukuta Ward amesema kweli tunasikia uchungu na nafikiri sisi kama viongozi wa kaunti hii hatutapumzika mpaka wapokot warudi waende pokot sisi tukae Samburu county kwa amani pokot wale wa IBET ya Sukuta Valley ni lazima warudi kwao kama wanataka tupate amani tumesikia MCA akilia hapa analia kwa sababu mahali pokot wanaishi saa hii ni chama za watu Tungia kaunti jirani ya Laikipia kutoka kaunti hiyo ya Samburu ambapo hayo ya kijiri kaunti ya Samburu wakazi wa eneo la Loldaiga kaunti ya Laikipia waliandamana kulalamikia hatua ya serikali ya Uingereza kujikokota katika kuwalipa fidia kutokana na moto uliozuka mwaka 2021 na kusababisha uharibifu mkubwa wa mazingira wakazi hao wanasema kimya cha serikali ya Kenya kinawatia wasiwasi na kwamba wanataka mfalme wa Uingereza na pozuru taifa la Kenya kuangazia dhiki wanazopitia na zinazosababishwa na wanajeshi wa jeshi la Uingereza ambao hufanya mazoezi yao huko nchini Clement Masombo ana maelezo zaidi wakazi hawa wanadai haki kutokana na mkaso wa moto uliotokea mwezi Machi mwaka na moja katika hifadhi ya Loridaiga. Lakini zidi watu nilifikia mia moja wamekufa. Ni serikali gani yamekuja kuuliza hiyo maneno? Wakili gani yamekuja serikali kusema ni nini aliua watu? Hakuna hata mmoja alikuja. Sikuwa kwa hadi pokezi tuliondoa, sisi wenyewe tulilie, tuchenge pesa tu kamata hadi pokezi yetu atusaidie sisi wa Afrika ambao hatuna mtetezi. Na tuko na serikali Victims are here languishing in poverty. People are dead. So the king must understand that Kenya is no longer a protectorate. Kenya is no longer a colony. Wakazi hawa sasa wanataka serikali ya Kenya kukatiza mkataba waliokubaliana na serikali ya Uingereza wa kuruhusu wanajeshi wa jeshi la Uingereza kufanya mazoezi yao humu nchini wakisema mazoezi hayo yamekuwa na madhara makubwa. This training is no longer sustainable. It's an abusive relationship Kenya has with the British government. And the message is clear that if this training continues to uh, continue in such an unsustainable way regarding re, disregarding even NEMA because the British actually do not even have a NEMA certificate to allow training there. Kilio cha wakazi wa Loldaiga kinajiri siku chache kabla ziara ya mfalme Charles wa Uingereza huko nchini. Wanasema kuwa anapozuru mfalme wa Uingereza afike kaunti ya Laikipia kushuhudia masaibu wanayokumbana nayo. Uh, of importance is that we are having a, a visit by a monarch whose soldiers is a commander in chief of all British forces and it is the soldiers who did this. Uh, it's surprising that you just want to come and go to Mombasa. We're inviting you to come to Nanyuki and see what your modern day soldiers are doing. So we are not inviting you to Kenya for a safari. We are inviting you to address present past injustices being perpetrated uh, against uh, uh, our people zaidi ya ekari 1049 za msitu ziliteketea kutokana na moto huo wa mwezi machi mwaka 2021 na mwana kijiji mmoja kuaga dunia baada ya kugongwa na gari akiwa kwenye harakati za kwenda kuzima moto huo Clement Masombo KTN News na bila shaka ziara yake mfalme Charles wa tatu itakuwa na mambo mengi tu atakapozuru taifa hili la Kenya. Bunge wa starehe Amos Mwago amekashifu vikali kitendo cha askari wa kaunti ya Nairobi kwa haribu mali wa biashara wa vyakula jijini akisema kwamba uhayawani kutoka kwa serikali inaodai kujali masuala ya hasla. Mwago amesistiza kuwa wafanyabiashara wadogo wanastahili kuheshimiwa kwani pia wanachangia katika ukuaji wa uchumi wa nchi na kaunti ya Nairobi. 
aidha ameitaka serikali kuafidia waathiriwa wa mwangaza wa askari ya mwaga mwaga za askari county mwago amesema haya wakati wa sherehe za kuhamasisha siku ya polio duniani hapa jijini Nairobi ambapo walai wananchi kwa mstari wa mbele katika vita dhidi ya maradhi hayo no trader in actually these economic times which are so hard should be treated to such impunity gone are the days when kanjo used to harass people they have to understand people are not on the streets on their own volition people are hawkers because they need to put food on the table and with these harsh economic times we cannot allow our parents to be harassed our traders cannot be harassed this regime came on board wakisema mambo ya hasla mambo ya mamboga mambo ya hoka but they are doing something contrary to what they promised so we are going to have a, a, a sit down with the leaders the governor of Nairobi the people at the inspectorate the people who are in charge of our operations in Nairobi to tell them that our people should be treated with dignity the next time that happens they'll see fire for fire for the person who lost their goods we are looking for those people so that we can see how we can compensate them i understand the governor has gone away further and maybe compensate them so we really need to see how he treats them because it was his own mistake in the first place makonde ni kabila kubwa zaidi kusini mashariki mwa tanzania lenye urithi wa utamaduni tajiri wa uchongaji wa vinyago ulimwende wa nyonda na chale yani tatu za usoni hata hivyo jamii hiyo ipo hatarini kupoteza urithi wake huo hivyo mwanahabari wa Tanzania Tulanana Bohela na kampuni yake ya Ona Stories kwa ushirikiano na makumbusho ya kitaifa nchini humo amechukua jukumu la kuhifadhi kidijitali urithi huo muhimu Rajabu Hassan na simulizi kamili kutoka jijini Dar es Salaam nchini Tanzania Kutana na Tulanana Bohela mwanzilishi mwenza wa Ona Stories anehadithia hadithi za kusisimua kidijitali anatambulisha ancestors mradi wa kuhifadhi utamaduni wa kabila la makonde utamaduni ya ghali unaofifia katika mradi huu uh, tumeona tutumie teknolojia ya uh, uhalisia ongezi augmented reality ambayo tumetumia Instagram filters. Kwa hiyo unaweza kupata hizi filter kupitia uh, namna mbili. Moja wapo ni kupitia mtandao ya kijamii ya Instagram. Utafungua Instagram yako, utaenda kwenye kurasa, ukurasa wa Ona Stories at Ona Stories TZ. So, utaona kuna uh, nyota, utabofu hapa kwenye nyota na hapo utaona uh, filter moja mbili tatu nne tano nitaweza kujaribisha moja hii hapa ya uh, mask moja uh, hakikisha kamera yako inakutazama na hapo hapo utaona moja hapo ya vinyago vinaweza kuna kaa usoni na hapo pia unaweza kuchagua vinyago tofauti sasa ukati ule walikuwa wana vile vile kuna chale Ancestors inaleta mtazamo mpya wa matumizi ya teknolojia katika kuyaelezea maisha ya Mwafrika. Um, sisi kama Ona Stories tumeona kwamba simulizi zetu kama wa Afrika, simulizi zetu kama wa Tanzania um, ni kama hazipo sana, zinakosa nafasi katika mitandao. Uh, wengi wetu tukiangalia moja kwa moja tukifungua tuseme YouTube au Instagram. Ma, vitu ambavyo vinaletwa kwetu ni vitu ambavyo vimetoka nje. Team ya Ona Stories imefanya tafiti na kwa msaada wa tarakilishi Fredrick mmoja ya wataalamu wa masimulizi na ubunifu anauleta utamaduni wa makonde katika uhalisia. Tukaona vinyago pia vyao vinavyokuwa kwa tukaviskani kwa mifumo tofauti tofauti au application tofauti tofauti. Ah pia kwa, kwa kuchanganya na taarifa ambazo tunaweza kupata kutoka kwa makumbusho yetu ya taifa watu la nana ancestors ni mwanzo tu teknolojia kwake ni daraja lisilo na hukomo katika kuhifadhi na kusimulia hadithi za Afrika kwa Waafrika na vizazi baada ya leo Rajab Hassan KTN News Dar es Salaam litakuwa jukumu la Waafrika kulinda tamaduni zetu manake pia sisi tunazo zile teknolojia ambazo tunaweza kuhifadhi urithi wetu wa kitamaduni tusonge mbele mbunge wa sabati ya Clemens Loya na mwakilishi kike wa vihiga Beatrice Adagala wametaja mageuzi katika sheria ya mfumo wa bima ya afya kama yenye manufaa kwa Kenya 
Wakizungumza katika kaunti ya viongozi hao wamesema mfumo huo uliozinduliwa rasmi siku ya maadhimisho ya mashujaa na rais William Ruto utawasaidia kwa sana wasiojiweza katika jamii aidha wamekashifu vikali walioelekea mahakamani kupinga utekelezwaji wake Hivi karibuni ya mtakuwa na kadi ya NHIF mtakuwa na, na kadi ambayo itakuwa ni ya Social Health Insurance Fund na kila mkenya naombwa kutumia nafasi hii kulingana na kiwango cha mapato yako kukontribute kidogo ili mpango huu uweze kuimarika hata zaidi na mpango huu unakuja na manufaa yake kwa sababu katika counties zote 47 tunaenda kuwa na 200 community health units ambazo zinaenda kuwa na 7700 com com county health volunteers Kuna watu wetu hapa wa mama wamekuwa kitembea kwa vijiji wakiambia kina mama vile mnaweza kupata dawa kidogo kidogo na walikuwa wanajitolea tu. Tulipitishwa msaada kwa tika bunge hawa wawekwe kwa mshahara kidogo wasaidie serikali hapa mashinani. Sina mna hivyo? Kwa sababu sisi ni serikali ya bottom up. Sasa eh, CHVs ndio watakuwa natusaidia kuanzia chini. Na no, taarifa hiyo kutoka Vihiga ndipo ninapotamatisha taarifa hizi za mbi weekend tuungane tena saa moja usiku kwa taarifa za KTN leo weekend. Mimi ni Suleiman Yeri kwa heri kwa sasa.